Hello guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Arnavi Mitra and I am a power programmer at Infosys. So in this video, I will be explaining my strategy to crack the power programmer. So if you have followed my channel, you have already seen two of my previous videos where I have explained my journey to uh, power programmer and top 10 questions you must prepare for cracking power programmer and I got a lot of responses from you so I have decided to create a video on my, what was my strategy to crack the power programmer exam okay so so in Infosys uh, after training uh, like uh, I used to code but uh, in that training time uh, when I joined Infosys as digital specialist engineer so it the training was uh, like up to three months there were training and uh, there were a lot of things uh, were uh, taught to us so at that time I was not able to practice any type of coding so after my training finished and units are allocated then I decided like uh, I need to practice coding uh, now and uh, like uh, that time like uh, I was getting project calls and uh, I was mapped to a project so I was working and um, and side by side I have to prepare because in uh, work you are not doing the coding every time you have to do a lot of things so I have decided like I will at least give two hours daily for um, coding because I need to practice so at least two hours daily this is must now the next thing was to fix a language so like I, I know C, C++, Java, Python everything uh, I, basics I know but uh, I have to uh, fix one language so I personally chosen uh, C++ because it's a OOP uh, object oriented programming and as well as like it has a HTL library so like um, for example uh, when I like whenever in the, we are doing some coding it's not that we are we will be giving easy code maybe in some point of time we need to sort the array we need to reverse it or maybe we need to take help from a stack or a queue or a priority queue so uh, STL library is there to help so I have personally chosen C++ and I uh, uh, like revise my concepts and revise the STL uh, things uh, because at every moment uh, uh, it will be needed so whenever you are choosing a language I would suggest whenever you are choosing a language so uh, learn everything not the basic syntax but also what what are the different type of classes are there like for example in java there are uh, like functions uh, there are also the function to sort uh, you can use set uh, map uh, these things you can use so like for any uh, cracking a big uh, coding exam you must uh, use uh, uh, this kind uh, this kind of things like every time uh, you will need uh, the stack you set map so you must choose a language and then focus on it and you must be very good at that uh, language okay then after that I chose the topic so I have written the topics based on my priority like how I like uh, chosen like at first I chose uh, array then string then binary search so for every topic you must like uh, uh, practice some of the questions so uh, like uh, it's not like based on data structure it's based on some things like in binary search it's not like uh, it will be given an array and you need to find the array there can be many variation of many application of binary search maybe a uh, array can be uh, rotated you need to find the uh, element or you may have to find a peak element and uh, priority queue dynamic programming everything has its own application and there are many coding questions you can find and you need to solve it so for each topic so if you are preparing i would suggest choose your topics and keep on practicing from every topic and finish all the topics uh, one by one and then as i said like uh, at least you should uh, like 
do 20 problems for each topic and like i started lead code uh, before one year and within one year like i completed more than 400 question in lead code itself and other than uh, then i used to use interview beat hacker rank code shape and most of the questions were common in interview beat and lead code so in interview beat i only saw 50 uh, plus question because um, all the uh, i mean most of the question were common so my personal uh, favorite is uh, lead code and uh, like uh, in lead code also you will like find topic based question easy and medium so uh, i started with uh, easy some of the easy question it's like uh, a dry run type and thing and then go to medium it may be the hard question may be tough for you so i would suggest just go for the medium and try to solve as much as medium question you can solve and after like so uh, like uh, doing um, questions from every topics it's the time for revision you must revise before your exam to know how strong you are and for this i used to give mock exam so it's not like there are mock exam but like in, in uh, lead code there are contests and uh, in hacker and there are many contests so you can sit for those contests to see how, where are you how prepared you are so like this is my experience how i prepared myself so I shared this with you and if you have any query you can reach to me uh, uh, my LinkedIn and my telegram group link is in the description and also I have prepared uh, previous videos on my journey to become a power programmer top 10 questions and other also uh, videos you can find all those links uh, in the description and if you like my video please like it share it and also please subscribe my channel thank you